right to Jordanian unilateral move, the Syrian Arab Republic has decided to close down Mosul border cross point with Jordan. The Syrian Arab army targets terrorists in the countryside of Dara'a, Al Qunaytira homes and their resort, inflicting heavy losses upon them. For the second consecutive week, the Saudi aggression against Yemen continues, killing and wounding hundreds of civilians, including women and children. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news for today. An official source at the Foreign and Expatriates Ministry has declared that the Syrian Arab Republic has decided to close down Nasri border cross point starting this morning, April the 2nd, 2015, till further notice in reply to the unilateral measures taken by the Jordanian regime yesterday. Consequently, Nasib Cross Point is completely closed and any crossing through it is considered as illegal. A military source has told Sana that our troops working in the direction of Nasib border, Cross Point, has carried out a successful operation to reassemble and restation in new military positions inside the responsibility sector, according to the set plan after the closure of the Cross Point by the Jordanian side and the deployment of military forces. To our news on the ground, the Syrian Arab army has targeted terrorist gatherings in Da'a al Tafas and Sarmad al Ashmari, west of Ataman, and destroyed their vehicles in the surroundings of the electricity company in Dara and its suburb. In Homs countryside, terrorist gatherings have been attacked in Arrestan's western farms and the villages of Kisin, Masada, Salam, and northern Al Msherfe. In cooperation with the People's Defense Units, the Syrian Arab army has eliminated a number of armed men in the panorama area in the direction of the Rizor Highway towards Atharda Mountains. The Tunisian government called on the Syrian diplomatic mission to return to its headquarters in Tunis after suspending its work for more than three years following the rule of Al-Nahda movement and its cooperation with former President Al-Munif Al-Marzouki, who was tied ideologically to the Muslim Brotherhood. The Tunisian government had expressed in the past its desire to reopen its consulate in Damascus in order to maintain the historical relations between the two countries. <laughs> For the second consecutive week, Saudi aggression against Yemen continues, leaving hundreds of civilians killed or wounded in addition to wide-scale material damage to infrastructure. Saudi warplanes targeted food warehouses and a hospital in Hamadan, west of Sana'a, and killed dozens of civilians. The Saudi-Yemeni borders witnessed fierce air raids during the last three days, targeting Haram Mountain, Miran Razah, and Kitaf, Meanwhile, Saudi warplanes prevented Red Cross plane carrying medical equipment from entering Yemen. In another development, Yemeni army and people committees achieved considerable progress in Aden, south of the country, and they also advanced towards the city of Shibawa in the north. The Lebanese army has foiled an attempt by terrorists to infiltrate from Wadi Hamid towards Arsal village in al biqa forcing them to flee in the direction of the prairies. The Lebanese army command said the clashes with the terrorists have caused one of them to be killed and others to be injured, including terrorist Khaled Ahmed Lwawa. The Lebanese army had fortified its front positions in the heights of the eastern mountains chain overlooking Arsal to intercept an infiltration attempt by the terrorists in the direction of al biqa villages as part of the security plan implemented in those areas since last February. Iraqi troops took control of the highway north of Ramadi in al Ambar province, inflicting heavy losses upon ISIL terrorists. The city of Sinjar is witnessing fierce clashes between Iraqi troops and ISIL terrorist organization as the army continues to clear Tikrit of explosives planted by the remnants of ISIL terrorists. 
Egyptian medical sources said that 10 Egyptian soldiers at least were killed and 13 others wounded following ambushes by armed terrorist groups in Rafah and Sheikh Zouaid in Sinai, north of the country. Three Egyptian soldiers were wounded yesterday when terrorists opened fire at a train carrying military equipment in Bani Suef district. Two Palestinian teenagers were wounded by Israeli troops who broke into Al Farah camp northeast of Nablus in the West Bank. Local inhabitants in the area reported that Israeli army broke into the town at dawn today. Meanwhile, Israeli occupation authorities arrested this morning Palestinian member of parliament Khalida Girar after forcing their way into her house in Ramallah in the West Bank. <laughs> Back to our local news, the Syrian short narrative film, A Bowl of Hope, has won the second prize at the Prestige Cinema Festival in the USA. The director is Mayari Nouri, who also wrote the script. The Prestige Cinema Festival is an annual event to honor the best works in terms of direction and production. The film, produced by the Cinema General Establishment in 2014, talks about the Syrian society in general and its simple nature. Now to latest business and market news, but after a short break, stay tuned. <laughs> 